Hey you guys, it's your girl Beauty with Mika. I'm not gonna show my face right now, but I wanted to show you guys, and I know I promised you guys I would do an unboxing of the Nespresso Vertuno next, and it's their Asiano 3. So I picked this one up at Bloomingdale. Shout out to Happy Stylish Mom. If you guys are not following her on YouTube or Instagram, I'll post all her links down below. But she had talked about in a in her one of her vlogs that Bloomingdale's was doing a sale um, before Mother's Day. They were doing it like early April and it was an additional 25% off plus an additional 30% off, I guess. So you got like 55% off this. This one I think is about $325 and I pretty much looked at Reeves. This is their like most newest one. Honestly, it was way better than the Black Friday specials because I think it, for Black Friday it was like $360. But either way, Bloomy Nails was offering a free, a way better deal than any other so it, I couldn't beat it. Um, this was a Mother's Day gift from my husband and the kids so I figured I'll do an unboxing and if you're interested in the Nespresso here it is. So I got this one. My counter space isn't a lot so I'm going to show you guys and then I'm going to do an unboxing and show you guys everything that I got. So I got this one. It is rose gold. I want to do something different just to have a, like a little coffee area. I do like the frother. You do get a $10 certificate um, on your first order which I've already used and then there are the different sizes of espressos that you can make. So I could do an espresso, a double shot, a grand lugo, a coffee, or an alto, um, which is just a large. So you can go small, medium, or large right there. And then if you're wondering the SKU number and everything, there it goes for you guys. But, and then you do get samples of the espressos. I've pretty much ordered mine already. And then the cool thing is, I will say, is I ordered these right here. So I ordered all of these off the Nespresso site because they're only pretty much a dollar. I would say, yeah, they're about a dollar a capsule. I ordered all the, well, we ordered. No, that's what it is. I ordered four of these and then Macy's has um, sales some. So we also ordered some from Macy's. So as a birthday gift, I did get uh, four of these from Macy's. But I did order some from also an express and I used my $10 rewards. Plus they gave me a, I got to choose a sample. So I got a sample of, I wanted to try Colombia, Colombian and Mexico, if that zooms in. So yeah, I got those. So Colombia and Mexico, I wanted to try those out. And then Nespresso does do recycling. So I did get a recycling bag as an extra. I always like to order a recycling bag even though I know it comes with it. You get 100 capsules of fit in here and then you just drop it off at the, you know, the regular store, um, UPS and that's it. So I got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 capsules plus the 12 that come in there. And for honestly, you guys, I ordered these on a Sunday. I got them literally on a Monday, so they do ship fast. Macy's also sells them, but I'd rather go through Nespresso.com because then you could get the recyclable bags. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox this. Um, and that's what it looks like. Another thing, and I'm going to pull this down, is shout out to Hen and Lon um, from their vlog. Lon was able to get a tempered glass drawer to fit her capsules in and i got this off amazon so i'm gonna post this also if you guys are interested in trying it the difference when i looked at the reviews because there were so many coming up this one holds 40 of your big capsules and then also 52 of your small and i like with the tempered glass so i'm gonna set the camera down unbox it and then show you guys how it sets up
reading the instructions and it says that there's an espresso app so i definitely encourage you to look at your book to guide you because it's connectivity and it does a software update so i'm not sure if you can see right there i'm going to download the app So I'm downloading the app, the Nespresso app. Um, where is it? Oh, so I'm downloading the app right there on my phone. And I'm going to be able to do this because it does have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, which is crazy insane. So I could pair it to my phone and I'm gonna read up more on that. And I can also pair it to my tablet. Um, I definitely encourage you to read the book because the book is telling me everything that I need to do. So it says I need to rinse and clean the tank, which I did. I did use soap and water to clean the water tank and the milk frother. And I just used some gentle um, Dawn dish soap that we use. Um, it says, so I set up this part and it says, so now I need to turn it on, I guess. And it says light will blink while the machine is heating up. And it'll basically go from a blinking light to like a steady cup. And then I'll basically just place a container under the coffee outlet to and ensure no capsules are inserted to do the cleaning process. So this is first time use and then if you don't use it after a long period of time. So now I'm gonna show you it's no longer blinking right now. So now what I'm going to do is put a container up here that I have, which I'll just use my coffee mug. And so it says place a container of at least 34 fluid ounces under the water filter, the coffee outlet. Okay, make sure no capsules are inserted during the cleaning process. Yep. And then I'll press this three times. And it goes for two seconds. And this will take less than two minutes, so I'm gonna let this go and then come back. All right, you guys, so it's already filtered out and everything, um, so it does recommend now just to prepare the um, actual machine for coffee usage. I'm not gonna drink a cup of coffee tonight because it is like 8.14 at night, but I'm gonna fill these up with just some bottled water. Um, I'm gonna fill the back of the container up with some um, so I can prepare for coffee tomorrow. And then in the morning, what I'll do is come back and show you guys which coffee I choose and everything. Um, from that and if you want honestly you don't have to use bottled water we get the filtered water from the water dispensaries too so I'm definitely gonna be filling up with that um, also I'm just doing this because I just have it available and I didn't want cold water I just kind of wanted some room temperature water in here and we recycle in this house for sure um so there it is so now I'm gonna put this back on and then flip it this way and then it is locked this way. So there's unlocked and I guess I can somehow, let's see. Oh, voila. So I would pop the capsule in there and then go ahead and start my coffee so and I don't know about you guys but I'm very picky because I like to like wipe down everything as I see it um especially because this is brand new so you just never know where it's been 
even before coronavirus you just wipe down your stuff so i'm going to rinse this out because it has a little bit of water in it and wipe it down and i always do that to things that i'm pretty much using i'm gonna pop it in right here and then close this lock it it'll turn off automatically on its own up there so this is the lock button and then this is the turn and what i did was do this and it popped open and then back here is where the capsule would go which is right in this slot so that's good to go and then if you want to lock it i just double tap it down make sure that it's locked down and you gotta put some force on here for that also so i will say do that and then it's gonna shut off automatically so you'll see it'll end up shutting off i like the rose gold because it's just enough rose gold so it doesn't like there we go it doesn't overpower my um kitchen design or anything so yeah that is it for the setup i'm gonna show you guys how i load up this so bottom area if you're wondering but i definitely say read your book i've already set up my app and if you already have an account with an espresso already you can go in and it'll show you guys my last order was on april 25th so my last order yeah it was actually on a saturday i thought it was on a sunday but i got it either way i ordered it on a saturday and got it on a monday and if you could tell i'll show you guys because it's not showing any of my information so that's what all, everything that i ordered and each capsule is a dollar so i ordered some more just to try them out i got one recyclable bag you can get two per order and then i got the the free sample and then i got the, also the ten dollars off so i only spent forty dollars on my total and then you could also re go in and reoccur the order if you want to and you could also place orders from the app and then i have apple wallet which is really cool for that and then it does show you so you can go right here and order so i know my next order i am gonna go ahead and just add the vanilla custard and you can do them in tens increments up to let's see how many can you order the what's the max you can order up to 1500 which i'm not gonna order 1500 but i am gonna order 10 so i know once i get low i'm gonna go ahead and order 10 of the vanilla custard um, not vanilla custard shoot i don't want vanilla custard actually i want it caramel cookie so i'm gonna order 10 of the caramel cookie i already have the hazelnut and then i'm gonna just go through and then if i like the mexico or the columbia then i'll order those and these show the intensity i haven't ordered any of the altos which are the extra large yet but the intensio are just regular eight ounce your original cups of coffee and these range from two if you see right there the intense is two all the way up into nines tens and then they also have decaf and a half and half if people that do come to your house they're not really coffee drinkers but they want some coffee you can have that on the side i don't really need that and then these are your grandos and they also have it in half and half these are your double um espresso shots that you can add to your order if you wanted to and then they show you these other ones which is just your regular espresso shots for me if i wanted a regular espresso shot i would definitely do the altisio altisio which is a nine I never really drew drink uh, decaf coffee and then an 11 is extreme so I doubt I would do that but these show you like what's the prices of them per capsule so I like that because I can order from my phone when I need to and then I can pay with Apple Pay and then they also always have deals and then here's the accessories if you're interested so you can get the milk frother and I'm just kind of going through just so you guys can get a broader idea of what this entails because it's a good investment especially if you're a coffee drinker like me um and you're doing something besides starbucks so you could definitely get the milk frothers in different cups i have mine right now in the black i may order in the red because my kitchen is red but i'd rather wait for a sale i know that sounds crazy but yeah and then you could also get the like portable travel cup too um so you could also i always do it and then they also have limited edition so you could actually get your cups on the go if you want and they have an espresso book they have an espresso collection 
which gives you like your cappuccino sets and different things especially if you're a coffee connoisseur you would like this you get your travel mug and everything to go um and then the maintenance and the recycle so you do get a recycle bag for free you can pay twenty dollars and you can get a bin to hold you put the bag inside the bin which I'm just like really so you would get the bag for free pay twenty dollars put the bag inside the bin and then when you're ready to go you could just um ship it out for free and then they have a descaling for eight ninety five so and then they also have these little dispensers that you can get it's totally up to you if you want to get them the bin is twenty dollars but then they also have these cute little bins I've seen people buy these but honestly I pay like I think maybe thirty dollars for the bin that I have so that's it um they have collections right here which is like your actual coffee mugs your little when you go to the coffee shops and then you get a full view of like their cups and everything so they're full collection and then you also get your spoons which i'm not interested in but we're gonna go ahead and get started i'm gonna show you guys how here's my samples so i'm gonna put the samples over here and then i'm gonna show you guys pretty much how i just load this one up um with some of the coffees other than that if you guys like this video don't forget the thumbs up like comment subscribe and i'll talk to you guys later bye tray i didn't even really hit all the way back there but i wanted to just fill some so i kind of did a little bit of different ones and then this is the intensity the this is the most intense one um but this reader back here a read the machine will read it and then it'll go ahead and make the coffee so i'll show you guys what that looks like in the morning but i will say this does hold good um i was able to put my four flavors in there I still have 40 left so this is 80 so far which is good um and then that's it and then I just slide this in here and set it up and that's what she looks like it does I will say the stand takes up a lot of space but I do like that the stand alleviates the boxes from being anywhere because honestly where would you put those boxes now I could honestly take this off the stand and slide the stand over there and then stack something else which i probably will do i'll play around with it after this video but if you're wondering i am still keeping my keurig we're just putting it on retirement for right now i'm not gonna let go of my keurig she is clean whenever i need her because i just still like my keurig but i just wanted to try something different so that is it talk to you guys later bye okay all right you guys so it's the next morning excuse my raspy voice but at least i have fresh breath a clean face um so the plugs were over here me and my husband did not feel comfortable with it so he was able to dual plug it behind our microwave which is fine which is still good the only problem that i do have is that i can't fully open my cabinet all the way so that's a little bit of a problem so i'm gonna have to figure out how to finesse this up here on this counter and i can't move it over here because there's no plug so back to this um i do have the frother right here i'm going to put some milk in it it does show you right there the max that you can put in it so i always use lactose free milk you can get this anywhere this is just a brand i get i 
am loving this is what rock view so it's just lactose free the kids need lactose free and it helps so i'm just gonna pour it just a little bit i'm only gonna pour it to like that first line i think that should be enough um and the husband is helping me because he wants to see how this is gonna go so you put this on I've already washed everything and I actually am gonna do a cold frother. So if I could figure out, I think. I'll just do hot because it says one and then you could go, I guess, two. Oh, if you do two seconds. Okay, so we'll figure this out. So I'm gonna put the frother right there. Now I have two samples when I first ordered. Um, from the Nespresso website, so I got Colombia and Mexico, and these are just regular coffees that you can try out. And then here's their sampler. I'm not gonna even use anything out here because I'd rather just use the sampler. The sampler does come with eight capsules and one decaffeinated. Um, I'll hold the decaffeinated for anybody that does come over. And this just gives you samples of their whole collection, which is pretty cool. This is really cool. And it tells you the intensity level if you're interested. And you could always order these off the Nespresso website. So that's really cool too. So it's just an example. So the red is the decaffeinated. If you're wondering. And then here is the coffee. So now I just got to figure out based off the intensity. So like this one. I'm going to try I am going to try this Malazzo. I already have it and I want to know what it tastes like so if I know I need to repurchase it again so I'm gonna set this camera up and then show you guys the first thing you have to do is unlock it you want to come see how I do this and you really need to like have some fun so you unlock it you pop it now I'm going to yeah so see so you can't do that so I'm gonna pop it in there like this and then lock it and I can smell the coffee going so it does a 30 second warm up and then it's gonna start your coffee and then I'm going to start this So you have to hold the frother for two seconds. It's gonna start, and then the coffee is boozing. So that means it's gonna start too. Uh -huh. It should be start. All right, cool. I know that's the frother one. If you guys can hear me, is once you put your pop in here, start your pop. That way it's both ready. If you're wondering, I got this cup from Macy's, it was like $3. Alright, so here is what happened. Now I'm going to unlatch this. <laughs> it's hard to do and watch. See? And it popped back there. So it's all good to go. It comes in here so I can empty this out and recycle it. And I did wipe everything off. So. Now 
now here is the frother. I think I did it cold. If I did it cold, I'm so happy. Cause this feels so super cold. And that's what it looks like so you can use lactose free milk. So I'm gonna get the husband to come over and record so I can show you guys how I make the coffee. All right, you guys, so this is actually cold in here. I did already add my um, cream and sugar. So I'm just mixing it and I do really two spoonsfuls, well, one and a half spoonsful of sugar. And right now, because of COVID, we're using these Natural Bliss coffee creamers and vanilla. They're cool. Kind of remind me of like the 7-Eleven or the gas station things, but my husband did pick these up for me because it was hard to find coffee creamer too, which is strange. Back to this. So I have already put my creamer and my coffee in, and my sugar in here. Now what I'm gonna do is pour this in on top, which I feel like, yeah. See, lesson learned is I could have really did it to the top because that didn't give me as much foam as I would like. But as you can tell, it's just a mess. And considering my first time drink, it's cool. And you could do this hot or cold, so I did it cold. So I'm gonna try this out. This is dishwasher safe, so uh, you they do recommend you always rinse this out with soap and water after each use and just let it dry. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I will get back to you guys and let you guys know my final thoughts and my experience. Bye.